Hello, George. Take a seat. I know you're mute, but I hope you've had time to look through God's plan. Well, we've given you the skimmed version. I mean, if you saw the actual thing, it's ridiculously long. It's huge. Many, many years have been covered. But are there any actual questions you have? Yes. Mankind was created in his image. Yeah. In his image. That's, that's it. In his image. Not in his intellect, not in his physique, not in his power or anything like that. Just his image. Just a look. You know, like a copy machine? Yeah, like a copy machine. You, you've seen that, right? Yeah, where you take the paper and you put it on the thing and then you push the button and it copies. You know, after so many times and depending on how well the ink is doing, if the ink's running low, the copy isn't so crisp. And if you copy so many times, the copy itself starts looking kind of messed up. You know, not as good as the original. Yeah, that kind of happened. Oh, the apple? Well, they say it's supposed to be the fruit of knowledge, right? Check it. He put the tree there with the apples, and he told them not to eat it, right? Right? He told them that? But it's part of his plan that they would eat it. Which means he knew they wouldn't listen to him. Yeah. He's aware. He's aware his creation is stupid. Well, the reason behind the Bible, sir, is because what happened was he thought maybe if he put his words to paper and parchment and all that, that maybe someone would actually pay attention. And some are and most aren't. And that's why I've asked a big man for a little bit of help in trying to regulate the remainder numbers in his plan because if they don't get regulated, his plan gets kind of... Well, it's not screwed up. His plan tends to adjust itself, and we don't want it to adjust itself too much because it makes things look stupid. No, really stupid. It looks really, really stupid. No, let me give you an example of what I mean by it. looks stupid. Um, he intended to have a martyr done in, like, 2013, okay? He intended to have a martyr set up to where... It was supposed to push religious freedom, actual religious freedom. Well, there was a misunderstanding. And now in 2015, there's a self-proclaimed martyr. Yeah. That was mostly my fault. I do apologize, and I have to apologize to the planet, because I missed one of the remainders. And it kind of caused a two-year gap where there should have been a martyr, and there wasn't. So someone proclaimed themselves to be a martyr and kind of crammed everything back. Oh no, the, the actual martyr, the actual martyr follows everything, but they're not going to get any order out of No, because this woman's already taken the thunder out of it. Yeah, I, I said woman. No, she doesn't follow the Bible. No. No, what she did was she looked through the Bible and found one line, and she took that line, she took that out, she just took that out, and she's following that. She's ignoring the rest of the Bible, pretty much. Well, I... George, I'm telling you, that's exactly what she did, because if she followed the Bible, she wouldn't have been divorced three times. She wouldn't try to be a would-be polygamist. She wouldn't try to be that. Or whatever it's called. I, 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 I'm not good with definitions. George, I'm telling you. This makeshift martyr isn't from God's side. Yeah. But, you know, the Christians are going to follow her. Yeah, well, our whole goal is to try to push back the apocalypse. That's the whole goal. We're trying to fix the plan and get rid of the remainders as best we can so we can push back the apocalypse. We don't want that to come up anytime soon. Well, yes, if we miss 
things, it seems to push back time on certain events from happening, but it does not remove the fact that the end time is still the end time. We have to fix it to where everything lines up properly so there's time to adjust. Like if we actually had the normal martyr that we're supposed to have in 2013, then we would be fine and good to go. Everything would still be on point and they would actually be a little bit smarter, but you know. Look, George, 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 look at here. I'm telling you, his creation is stupid. They got a fake martyr going on right now. They're going to try to use that to springboard religious freedom in a different way. Even though she doesn't follow the religion, she just says she does. But they're going to springboard that into something stupid. And then you're going to have, you're going to have a whole... You know what the snowball theory is. You know what the snowball is, right? Where something gets going slowly, but then it just builds up and it gets bigger and more uncontrolled. What's going to happen? Check it. What's going to happen to this? You saw later in the plan, right? Where people started not helping each other and started judging each other over more stupid shit than stuff in the Bible? Yeah, that's already started. That's already started. Didn't you notice? That's already started. So what's going to happen is they're going to push for this religious freedom thing, and they're going to word it wrong. So then Muslims, Catholics, Protestants, Islamics, Buddhists, Hinduists, everybody, 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 they're going to say they can't do something because of their religion. And you know what's going to happen? These are going to be people in, in good positions of power. Like, you've already seen people react, right? You, you've seen how this United States, United States of America acts, right? They get a president that isn't white, and oh my lord, everyone's losing their mind. And then you find out he's not Christian? Do you know how much freaking paperwork I had to go through on that? Do you know how much... It's not because he's not Christian. No, the martyr that we were supposed to have in 2013 supposed to make sure that kind of reaction wouldn't have happened at all. It was supposed to actually line up. Yes, I know, I know his service started before 2013. I am aware of that. But the martyr in 2013 was supposed to actually negate that. It's supposed to... You know, like rainwater in a like glass. It's supposed to hit, you know? It's supposed to hit and stop it. And then it would have trickled down and adjusted. Where, yeah, there's still going to be bigots out there, but the big thrust would have stopped. But no, since he didn't show up in 2013 like he was supposed to, and things got screwed up, mostly because I couldn't keep up with the paperwork for the freaking remainders, you see what it's like. That's how important this paperwork is in this plan. Okay? That's why I needed help. I can't do it by myself. I tried. You know, it's sad that even the big guy is feeling bad for me. And he appointed me to do it. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, George, I know. I'm not, I'm not asking for sympathy. I'm just asking for your help on trying to get the remainders cleared. If we can get that cleared, we can push back the time of the apocalypse, and hopefully, his creation will start gaining a collective intellect. In, intellect. That's what we're worried about, because their collective intellect right now is like twenty. <laughs> stop laughing, dude. <laughs> You're laughing going to make me laugh. Stop it. Stop. 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 I'm telling you, their collective is about a 20. I get, look, look, look through God's plan. He actually has little note numbers on this. Yeah. Check the, check the margin. Yeah. Go down to I. Yep. Where it says I see, it's actually supposed to be collective intelligence. Yeah. What is that, 15? <laughs> <laughs> they have just enough intelligence to get together and read. Okay. So it was worse than I thought. Um, as a collective, they're idiots. Now, there are some bright spots. And I'm trying. I'm trying to get the remainders cleared so we can get these bright spots to flourish a little bit. Yes, I know. We shouldn't be having atheists point things out. I know that. 
But you know what? It cleared up buttload of remainders for me. And it's working. Yeah, yes, them actually questioning things is actually working. I'm telling you. I know you're surprised by this. A lot of people are surprised by this. The big man wasn't surprised by this. He told me to try it. Yes, his plan covers everything. Everything. He knows people aren't going to follow the Bible. He knows that. He, he, it's in his... Look! Go go back near the beginning. About the tree and the apple. He knows we're not going to follow it. He knows that. He knows people are going to call themselves Christians and not follow a damn thing in the Bible. <clears throat> Had to mark myself. Look, I'm telling you, this is how things are working. It, it's just going to roll this way, okay? Yes, I know there's people who don't believe in him. I'm aware of that. I'm aware that people don't believe in Jesus being the Son of God either. I know that. There are things that need to be done. And the reason why he has it done this way is for strange and obvious reasons. Okay? You may think it's strange, but if you look through the, if you go, go ahead a few pages. Go, go ahead. Yeah, go down to like paragraph three. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. Now the problem is, why can't we get the Christians to follow the Bible? That's one of the major remainders I'm having. Because they are judgmental. And they are cherry picking stuff. And not all Christians, thank goodness, but those who are getting famous. You're right. George, you are right. That's why. Those who are getting known are the ones who are the cherry picking mother. You're right. You're right. You're right. See, that's why I need it. That's why I need help. Because you see things I'm not going to be able to see. This is great. Okay, I need you to get to the office like ASAP. We can talk later. Um, you need to keep some of these things on the media, and um, I would say news, but they've already got news that's messed up, so we can't mess with that yet. But media and social. I'll give you social media. I'll give you social media. How about that? You do what you can. Get people to point out things and clear it up. I will do what I can to clear up the rest of this. But George. You do what you can to help fix that, and if only we can, if we can get people with actual talent more famous and stay famous for their talent and not fucking stupidity. Yeah, like I said, I have, I have a bad language thing. I gotta keep marking myself. But, George, it's great seeing you. Great meeting you. Please, your office is running there. Just knock it out, bro. I'll do what I can here to try to mitigate. Thanks. This is going to be good. Now we've got some help. I can actually, I can actually take care of some of these other things.